So right now, we're going to talk about the force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field, which is called the motor effect. Now we can look at this object over here. Firstly, they connected a battery here, sending a current going through here. It goes down this black wire here, goes across this part here, and goes up here, and then completes the loop. Now look at these two things. They are actually actually they are freely swinging objects. So this thing actually can swing back and forth if it wanted to. Now we put a U-shaped magnet like this with a north pole over here and a south pole over here. And then when we turn on the switch and send a current through here, suddenly this leg kicks up, and this is called the kicking machine. So that's quite strange because there's actually a force that's pushing this um, freely hanging object this way, whipping this way, current going through here, and there's a magnetic field going through here. So the force acting on this current carrying wire based in a magnetic field is perpendicular to both the direction of the current and the direction of the magnetic field. The direction of the force is also reversed whenever we reverse the current or if we reverse the magnetic field, which means this north becomes over here instead and this south becomes here. So the best way to explain this is using a rule called the Fleming's left hand rule or the motor rule. To predict the direction of this force, we employ the Fleming's left hand rule. Now Fleming's left hand rule is using your left hand, obviously. Basically put your thumb, your forefinger and your middle finger all in right angles to each other as shown okay now you should point your forefinger basically this finger over here in the direction of the magnetic field all right so this will be north and this will be south okay and the second finger points in direction of the current basically in the direction that the conventional current is flowing point your middle finger in that direction and your thumb gives the direction of the force. This is easily memorized by several mnemonics. Okay, the first one would be father for force, mother for magnetic field, and child for current. So it will be father, mother, and child. Let's try to solve this example using Fleming's left hand rule. The figure below shows a wire that is placed between two magnetic poles. Think of this as A to B and Imagine this A is closer to you and B is further away from you in a sort of a 3D way, all right? And this of course is a north and it's a south. So if the current flows from A to B, in which direction does the force act on the wire? The magnetic field will be from north to south and the current from A to B. Now, the answer for this is by using Fleming's left hand rule, we find that the force acts vertically downward on the wire AB. So if you use your left hand and did it correctly, you, sh you should get your thumb pointing downwards. For question B, they ask you what will happen if the current flows from B to A instead, which is the current is reverse. Okay, so using your Fleming's left hand rule again, and if you did it correctly, you should get a reverse force and it would act vertically upward. Now, this is the theory that we have come up with for um, why the force acts this way, okay? So, um, because there are two different magnetic fields acting at the same time, the first one is the north and the north pole to the south pole of the magnet. That one is quite simple, basically just straight lines across from north to south. However, there is another magnetic field occurring when there is a wire. For example, this wire over here is a cross, which means the wire is going into the page. Therefore, if you use the right hand grip rule, okay, you will note that this wire produces its own magnetic field, which is going around in circles this way. Now, on the top side, you will see that these arrows will be going to the right, to the right, to the right, and it supports, and it goes in the same direction as the other magnetic field from the magnets. Therefore, in this side, the top side, actually, um, it will support each other to form a stronger field. However, on the on the bottom side, you will see that the arrows actually go to the left, to the left, to the left. This the magnetic field from the wire 
goes to the left. However, the magnetic field from the magnets goes to the right. And therefore, this will be a clash. When two fields oppose each other and they combine, they will give a weaker field. So you can see over here, the magnetic field lines are much less concentrated and therefore over here will be a weaker field. Therefore, if over here is a stronger field and over here is a weaker field, this will produce a force that acts towards the weaker field. So this question can also be um, used in terms of how to direct a beam of charged particles like all the science fiction movies that you see. So imagine that there was a gun over here that fired a particle that was positively charged. A positively charged particle that is traveling in this way represents conventional current, which means this one would be the flow of a conventional current as though there was a wire pointing this way. Okay, so since the current is flowing to the right and the magnetic field you can see all these crosses, right? These crosses actually represent the magnetic field that goes into the paper. So, using your Fleming's left hand rule, you will find that um, there will be a force acting on this positively charged particle and it will be upwards. Now, you may ask what happens if this is not a positively charged particle? What if it's a negatively charged particle? Now, because a negatively charged particle or an electron is supposed to be flowing in the opposite direction from conventional current. If you remember your lessons from chapter 15, electricity, the conventional current goes one way, the electron current will go the other way. Therefore, you can see that if the electron is flowing to the right, the conventional current flows to the left. Okay. This electron flowing to the right represents the conventional current flowing to the left. If the magnetic field is once again going into the paper, we will then use the Fleming's left hand rule again to find that the force on this particle is pushing it downwards instead.